Hey YouTubers, got another video review for you today. This one is from a company by the name of Peach Skin Sheets. These guys are out of Atlanta and I've heard nothing but good about these set of uh, sheets and I wanted to try them out. So I've uh, got a Dream Cloud mattress and I've been extremely happy with it. And uh, you know, I wanted to see if uh, these sheets would fit on the mattress and uh, just how comfortable they are. So, I'm going to go ahead and jump right on into it. And so, I went ahead and opened the box, and then I thought, you know what? I need to just stuff that back down in there and, and just to show just how nice it is. But uh, as soon as you open the box, it's got little Georgia peaches all over it. And then it gives you a, a little uh, set of samples here, little sample swaths of the different uh, color sheets that they offer and this, that, and the other. And, you know, if you're wondering... Will this match my decor? You can call them up and say, hey, send me a set of these uh, uh, samples and they'll they'll send them to you. So, you know, you don't have to order it and not know if they're gonna match or not. So I, I like that feature. And then, you know, it comes all uh, nicely wrapped. It's got some like tissue paper in there. It's got a sticker in there. And then when you pull it, pull it out, then you get to see the the real goodies. And you can see that I've got a, a set of uh, of the dark gray and black sheets. And then next, uh, inside the box, it's got this thank you card. And, you know, everything's nicely color coordinated. And I know this is not important for some people. They're going to be like, ah, don't worry about the packaging. Just get to the product. Well, if you're giving this as a gift to somebody and, you know, uh, they open this out of the box and and see that they've really went to all this trouble to match everything up and then line the box with peaches and tissue paper and stickers and thank you cards and you know there's swatches and then there's like this little keychain attached to it it's got like a little peach on it and you know it's just the little things that make it look nice and neat and then you get over here and you can see that i've got the the black set and then i've got like a a, a gray set of sheets and the reason I chose those colors is because you know I have more of a, a modern type theme room you know I've got mostly black furniture in here and you know I just really like that look so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and start off by washing these uh, they say as soon as you take them out of the package to go ahead and wash them and that way you know it makes them all nice and soft now if you're wondering how just how soft these are uh, they're equivalent to like a 1500 thread count um, level of softness. So um, it says that it's made from this uh, smart uh, fabric and uh, it's supposed to uh, keep you from getting as, as hot. And I'm a hot sleeper. I'm a big guy. So, you know, naturally I, I get hot and usually everybody uh, beside me is freezing and I'm over here sweating. But, uh, you know, I've always got the the fan on when I go to sleep at night and I you know truthfully I prefer to get in bed when it's nice and cold and then getting them under the covers and warm up now it says on the packaging that it's a unique breathable microfiber that helps regulate body temperature through airflow and moisture wicking properties and I'll be honest I haven't used them so I don't know if it works so we're gonna test them out today and I'm gonna go ahead and and get them washed and that way I can go ahead and get them put on the bed and see what both sets looks like. And I went ahead and got some new uh, bedding as well. I bought a new quilt set for the bed. So, you know, I'm just going to do it all up. Make it look nice today. All right, let's get started. So, go ahead and unzip them. And I'm going to feel them for the first time. And wow. Now, I got to say, those are soft. I know I haven't washed them yet, but man, those are really soft. Uh, I've, I've had some really nice sheets before in the past. This is not my first set of nice sheets, I can tell you that. So I, I do know quality when it comes to, you know, bedding and things like that. I've had some, you know, 1,000 and 1,500 thread count. I think I even bought some uh, 2,000 thread count one time. But, you know, I paid dearly for them. And uh, anyways, they do feel like a peach. I'm not going to lie. They have like that, I don't know, it feels like a, it's not slick like a sateen. 
but it, it feels it feels like a, the skin of a peach truthfully that's exactly what it feels like now i know i just kind of pulled everything out of the package and threw it everywhere but it comes with uh two king size pillowcases because i ordered the king it comes with a flat sheet here's your flat sheet and then uh it has a fitted sheet and then the first thing that i noticed whenever i pulled the fitted sheet out of the package is it has elastic all the way around the bottom i know a lot of uh, companies just try to get away with putting it on the corners but uh they put it on the whole perimeter of the uh the fitted sheet so that's gonna be nice i hate for it popping up on the the corners it drives me nutty and the reason they want you to wash them is because you know sometimes fabric gets dusty and dirty and you know they want you to get all the wrinkles and stuff out of there before you put it on the bed because you know if you don't if you just throw them right on the bed then it's going to be hard to get all those wrinkles out and then... all right now i'm in my laundry room and i just wanted to show you i went ahead and put uh, both sets of sheets in there and one thing i, I do want to remind you guys of is make sure that you do not just pour the soap down in there you pour it right in here in this little dispenser and you know you just pour it in there and just give it a minute or two to reach down in there but uh you know i just used just a standard detergent it's like a free and clear with no dyes or chemicals or none of that <clears throat> now i don't know about you guys but you know my wash machine is one of those where you know once you close the lid you can't open it back up so you want to make sure that you uh, do it right the first time I'm gonna put it to just a, a medium soil level and then I'm gonna wash it cold you can wash it warm if you want but then I'm just gonna do a normal wash all right well the uh, sheets just got through washing and as you can see the gray ones are there on the bottom and the black ones I've went ahead and put put them in the dryer and I left this uh, one pillowcase out so you can see that uh, there's no streaks. Now, I noticed before when I've washed other sheets, I would forget and pour the soap on top of them. And I always wondered why there were streaks in the sheets. And it was because of the detergent. I didn't think about pouring it down this little Clorox bleach uh, tunnel there that goes down into your wash machine so anyways uh i did it that way this time and and look i mean the uh sheets didn't have any kind of uh streaking on them or no stains or none of that so i'm pretty happy but uh anyways i'm gonna go ahead and throw some some of the dryer sheets in there and i'm gonna go ahead and start the drying process because i'm excited to get these on the bed now as far as drying it's said to uh dry them for about 20 minutes so i'm gonna set my dryer to 20 minutes and i'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and get going now you can read it yourself right there if you can see it it says dry separately for about 20 minutes on medium to medium high depending on your dryer to activate wrinkle release all right now i just pulled these out of the dryer and i didn't have to dry them any longer than 20 minutes uh, it was adequate, so I was able to take and put about four or five dryer sheets in with these whenever I, I washed and dried them, and uh, it was able to get all the wrinkles out of them for the most part. Uh, now, I've got to say, I am really impressed with the sheets, and I'll tell you why. Number one, whenever you put the fitted sheet on the bed, how many times have you ran into the problem where right here on the side, it's like so tight that there's just not enough material to cover right there in the middle and it tends to ride up on the side and, you know, it's just a pain in the butt. And then, you know, once it starts doing that, then all you got to do is turn over and one of the corners pops off and then you got to get up and fix it or you got to put those stupid little... Uh, clips on there to hold the uh, the fitted sheet down. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. I've got some of those clips. I've used them in the past. Okay, well, here's just a few styles and brands, and you can see uh, that they're different kinds, and all they do is just hold the, the sheets down, 
and keep them from popping up. Well, you don't need these anymore with these sheets. And there's enough room to where, you know, it don't feel like it's the sheet is stretched so thin that it's going to rip because I guess they were too uh, cheap to add a little bit more material. These sheets here absolutely fits the mattress perfect. And with the Dream Cloud mattress, I mean, you see how thick it is. I mean, it is a monster. And it's been hard for me to find sheets that fit this, especially here on the side. And you can see, I had, I left it untucked right here. I didn't tuck it in intentionally, just for you guys. So you can see just how wide the piece of elastic is here in the bottom. Normally, when you get a set of sheets, the elastic is about half of that. All right, I ran in here and grabbed my tape measure just to show you. You can see it's a one inch band of elastic that goes all the way around the sheets, not just on the corners. So that way you don't have to worry about it plopping up on you. So when you go to put the sheets on, I'm just gonna tuck them in and let that elastic just hug up underneath. And you can see right there, I mean, it's, it's gonna fit right up underneath there and hold it down nice and tight. And that way you get a nice, smooth fitment on your sheets all the way across now you can see there's a, some wrinkles in right here and that's because i hadn't tucked that elastic up underneath there but watch and see when i get get it all tucked in all right well i don't know if you guys can see just how smooth the sheets are and just how that elastic fits up underneath the mattress i mean i, I i've had several sheets on this mattress and these are by far the best fitting and they look the, the best made. So I haven't slept on these yet, but I've got to say, uh, just from putting them on the bed, they are super soft. And I'll go, I'll go ahead and tell you, I can't wait to lay down. So just uh, with this, um, the fitted sheet on there, I'm, I'm impressed. Now, as far as the uh, king size pillowcases goes, uh, they are, you know, standard king, but the pillows that I use are just a, a normal size pillow. They're not the king pillows. I don't like uh, the king pillows just because they're too big. So I always use just a standard uh, pillow uh, inside the, a king sham, and I'll show you a, a, a move that my buddy uh, told me about. He's a U.S. Marine, and and uh, he told me how that they used to. Uh, fix their pillowcases so it didn't um, look like this here on the end anyways what you want to do first is take and pull the the sham out get it all nice and, and stretched out and then you want to take the first layer and tuck it in up underneath like that right there then now you have this opening right here and you just tuck it in as well and you make like a little pocket so you just kind of tuck it in itself so when you're done you have a nice wrinkle free pillow and it looks nice and neat and when you go to make the bed up you know nobody knows that you don't have a, a king pillow in there it just looks like it's made for it so you know i just preferred a smaller pillow so so now you can see what both of them look like with them tucked into their self and there's no wrinkles there's no extra material just looks nice and neat so works for the u.s marines works for me i went ahead and put the uh flat sheet on i haven't got it tucked in yet because i wanted to show you uh, one thing that really impressed me with these sheets, and that is the length of them here at the end. You can see how much extra room I have, and it's almost touching the floor. And you can see up here that I've got them pulled up to the it's top of the pillars there, and that's as far as they can go. Uh, some sheets don't give you very much room here at the end to tuck in and you know, during the middle of the night, you easily kick them untucked. So I gotta say, uh, they spared no expense as far as 
you know, giving you enough material to tuck in. All right, guys. Well, it's been about two weeks uh, since I uh, put the uh, Midnight Black uh, peach skin sheets on here. And I just wanted to give my review on them. Um, you know, it's one thing to pull them out of the box and say, hey, these feel soft and these are nice sheets. But when you sleep on them for a couple weeks, you can tell, you know, the the quality of them. Uh, I, I do have to say these are probably the softest sheets that I've I've ever used. Uh, they're they're incredibly comfortable, and you know I notice a lot of times when you buy some sheets, uh, they don't give you hardly enough material to get it tucked in. Uh, you know, just a few inches, and you know half the time when you tuck it in, it pulls right out. With well, these, I left them untucked so you guys could see uh, specifically just how long they are down at the bottom, and then. You know, it's it goes all the way over to this side, and then you can see right over here on this side, you know, it covers all the way down uh, to the mattress there. So they give you plenty of, of uh, fabric. You're not going to run out. It's not going to be too small for, for the size bed that you have. And, you know, the mattress that I'm running is the uh, Dream Cloud, and you can see that the mattress is super thick on this bed. And you can, the one thing that I really like about these sheets is no matter, um, you know, how thick the uh, Dream Cloud mattress is, uh, not one time in two weeks uh, did these pop up. And what I mean by that is a lot of times, you know, the, the corners will pop up. If you roll over in the bed, it'll pop up. Uh, well, I didn't experience that at all with these. Uh, and you can see that when you put them on the bed, they're not all wrinkled up. And you can see that, you know, my mattress has got pleats in it. But, you know, uh, you know, the fabric is nice and, and smooth. Now, you got to pull them out of the, the dryer while, while they're warm to throw them up on the bed. Uh, so they don't, they don't wrinkle up on you. But, but they, uh. They look great on the bed, and I got to say, I've been, I am very pleased with them. All right, guys. Well, as you can see, I went ahead and made the bed up, and this is the way that I normally uh, keep the bed. Uh, I always take and, and put the uh, light quilt there on top, and then I turn down the sheets and, you know, give a little bit of a, a contrast, and I think it, you know, makes the room look really sharp. You know, I, I like the, the plain look with the uh, quilt. Uh, I think it has a, a nice contrast with those uh, slate colored sheets and then with the black ones on there uh, I think it just looks absolutely amazing. I, I actually prefer the black ones over the uh, the slate ones as far as the color goes uh, for myself but uh, you know I think they, they both look really really nice. So if you're wondering uh, how much the uh, peach skin sheets run uh, for the King uh, set of sheets, it was $85, which is not bad, you know, uh, considering their quality. They do offer like a 30 day money back guarantee for to let you try them out. And if you don't like them, you send them back or whatever. And, uh, you know, they also have a thing where you can uh, make multiple payments on them. So if you ain't got the money, you can, you know, um, use their uh, multi-pay feature that they have. I've seen it on their, their website. But, uh, you know, I don't think you'll be disappointed at all with these. I gotta say, these have been some really nice sheets. Um, yeah, you can go buy some cheaper sheets from other places, you know, Ross, TJ Maxx, and, you know, the Home Goods and places like that. And, you know, you get what you pay for. Uh, but I, I gotta say, with these uh, sheets here, they are super soft. They have like a, a 1500 thread count level of softness. And uh, they, are, they are super soft. I don't get hot up underneath them. They're just really comfortable sheets. Um, they are like $85 for the king size sheets. And, you know, I think that's pretty, pretty reasonable. So anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up. I'm super tired. It's pretty late. And I can't wait to sleep on the new set of sheets. I uh, just uh, put these, new, these gray ones on. I haven't slept on those yet. I've been sleeping on the uh, midnight black ones. And, uh, you know, I, I've, I've been very happy with them. So I'm going to get some sleep. Talk to you guys later.
Oh, I forgot to mention, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. That way you can see my future videos. So, till next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Get you some peach skin sheets. They're really nice quality. And when you do, put it in the comments down below. Let me know how much you enjoy them. Talk to you later.